you are calling for a civil war by considering open grazing again in the southeast. Horewa won worry. Human Rights Writers Association of Nigerian Horewa has sent a warning to President Mohamed Buhari after he gave an order for the review of 368 grazing sites in 25 states. Horewa gave the warning on Friday. The group further warned of an impending civil war in the country if Bari insists on grazing reserves for his kinsmen. Bari had during the week approved with dispatch a review of 368 grazing sites across 25 states in Nigeria. This Horewa has described as an inevitable invitation to a civil war. The group has now demanded that Bari perish the illegal and toxic idea, adding that except the president is not in the agenda to destabilize Nigeria. The Urua Rights Advocacy Group said this in a statement signed by its national coordinator, Comrade Emmanuel Ombiko, and the national media director, Ms. Zenab. The group wondered how President Bori is bent on coercing native peoples to surrender their ancestral land to his kinsmen, Fulani headsmen. The right group accused the president of having favored his kinsmen since 2015 when he assumed office and failing to arrest and prosecute suspected armed Fulani headsmen who have allegedly killed over 6,000 Nigerians since 2015. This is the first time in over 60 years of Nigerians' independence that Nigeria is forced with a fatalistic administration whose head of executive arm is doing everything outside of the law to arm twist other ethnicities. Just so the, pres the president's kinsmen are awarded the ancestral land for the private commercial business of grazing cattle, Horewa noted. The right group therefore asked Pori to desist from taking steps and doing things that will plunge Nigeria into a long drawn civil war. Horewa further accused Pori of breaching his constitutional oath of office which prohibits him from using his office to confer unlawful advantage on his people due to pedestrian reasons. Horewa dismissed the directive of President Bori on the so-called grazing site as an unmitigated, unconstitutional act given that the extent land use law governing land administration gives the ownership of landed assets in each state of the federation to the state's government. Horowa said, for the avoidance of doubts and from the abundance of scholarly submission, Mr. President should note that the Land Use Act enacted in 1978 was meant to standardized land administration system across the country. <laughs> See, don't forget, Bori is an ex-man himself. Bori is an ex-man. See, let me tell you, one of the reasons why Bori is still acting very tough to Nigeria is still because of this ex-man. And one of the reasons why Bwari is still acting tough to the Biafrans is still because of this headsman. Because of the headsman, what else? Bwari is ready, as we speak, is ready to do anything, anything to quench Nigeria just because of this headsman. You think that Bwari is happy that the headsmen have been chased out of different states? See what he told uh, 
he told the governor of Ondo State. So he told him, he challenged him, he dared him to send the, uh, the, 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 the Fulani headsmen away from the state. But then I love the reply the governor gave to him. I love it. It made him to know that he, as a president, was elected. The same way he was elected, the same way that he is also elected. So he should not point not over his own affairs. He is of the federal, while he's, he is of the of the states. So let everyone face his own business. So why point Is it because they, they, they granted the, the headsman opportunity to take over their land, to come and, you know, stay in some of their lands? Is it, is it because of that? Uh, and at the end of the day, they, will they, they end up messing around. Messing around. Huh? Is that? So, that's it. That's just it. So, that's what you need to understand. That's how you now know the kind of people that we have accommodated. They don't want to be accommodated. These people, they don't want it. They don't want it. We, 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 we are even playing risk keeping them. We are playing risk keeping them. But as we have decided to dismiss them, is the best. It's the best. Because they don't want being kept. They don't want it. Keeping them causes more problems. I'm telling you. So they don't want being kept. They are problems to the masses. They are problems to the people. Do you understand? They are problems. So we have to act fast. We need to act fast. And be, and be very, very serious on, on what we do. Look at Bari. Okay, okay. Look at what to, for you to know that Bari still have his mind on this uh, open grazing or whatever. See what he told his uh, is uh, uh, the AGF Malame. He told him to go and check the section of the in the constitution that permit open grazing in Nigeria, and that very one stupidly and ignorantly went to check coming back to feed the president with wrong information and that one believed and said okay thank god for our lawyers who knows the law they don't want to rescue us they don't want to rescue us you see that they don't want. if not if, if not for them i wonder i wonder what would have become of us i wonder what would have become of us eh? I wonder. So my 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 listeners and my friends in the house, I use this video to to reach out to you, to beg you to please at least let's hear you and know what your own take on this very um, issue issue that I've just been discussed on this very channel. Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons. As well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.